How do F1 drivers drink during a race? Yes, I am ready for all the YouTube comments to say, Matt, they drink with their mouth, duh. Which yes, is the short answer to this question, but not all that I wanted to say on it. F1 drivers are extreme athletes. They are forced to withstand up to six times their own body weight through certain corners due to the forces exerted on them by science. This takes a huge toll on the body physically, and just like any of us who pop down the gym once a year and push ourselves too hard, we need to hydrate and take in the correct nutrients, otherwise we're going to lose performance and feel generally unwell. Which is what you don't need when flying around an F1 circuit at over 200 miles per hour, competing against the very top tier of drivers. Not only do the drivers have to experience the G-forces, but also the temperature within the cockpit as well with the engine being within touching distance behind them and the cockpit not exactly letting much, if any, airflow in at all, aerodynamics, you know, the temperatures can soar to over 50 degrees for the driver, which is quite frankly horrific to even begin to imagine. My body starts internally combusting the second it hits anywhere above 30. I'm not cut out to be an F1 driver, am I? With all of these forces and temperatures that I've highlighted, there's no surprise that F1 drivers sweat a lot. The average weight loss per race is around two to three kilograms, which is all to do with fluids leaving their system. Now, as recently as the American Grand Prix this year, we witnessed Sergio Perez's drink bottle fail to work throughout the entire race. This is really not ideal in the slightest, especially around such a physically demanding circuit as the circuit of the Americas, and also with it being pretty warm out there too. The drivers tend to drink around 1.5 litres of fluids throughout a race, which is quite a lot to be missing if the drink system fails. Sergio said it was the toughest race of his career and that he started to lose strength by the middle of the second stint. Are there still people out there that claim Formula 1 is just driving in circles and you don't need to be an athlete? Anyone? Let's now explore what the actual drink is that they put into their system. It's not simply just water as that wouldn't provide the body with enough to continue going at an optimum level. Instead, it's a formula consisting of a high concentration of glucose and is fully dosed up with vitamins and minerals. This tends to be a standard baseline, but it's not like the FIA provide the drinks. The drivers can choose whatever they want. So if they fancy a nice warm hot chocolate, they could stick that in there if they wanted, but I probably wouldn't recommend that. Although saying that, whatever the drink is, it's not going to be cool and refreshing for long because of the temperatures in the car, so I highly doubt there will be any sipping and then a nice long ah afterwards. It's basically fuel for the drivers. It's a necessity. So where is the drink placed and how is it activated? The teams tend to attach a bag of fluids inside the cockpit somewhere and then install a pump and a long plastic tube which is fed through the helmet and placed directly in front of the driver's mouth. Recently, due to the hot temperatures in the cockpit, F1 teams have tried to move the fluids bag into the front nose where it's a little bit cooler. With all the complicated buttons on an F1 steering wheel, one of them is to activate the pump to deliver hydration to the driver. Unless you're Kimi Raikkonen, in which case you will not have the drink. Once the race is over, it's also important for drivers to hydrate immediately after getting out the car. That's why you'll see a lovely bottle of water next to where they place their driver's helmets. It's proper sweaty and hard work, this Formula 1 business. There you have it, an insight into how F1 drivers drink during a race. What drink of choice would you have in your fluid bag? Let us know in the comment section below.